I've decided that I'm going to pot up one, pot up one of these um, squash plants and using an old planter that I got from Walmart I just wanted to show you the difference between a good planter from one of the uh, plant nurseries and the Walmart planter after a few years this is the Walmart plant Walmart planter oh they look exactly the same in the store you can see this thing is deteriorating it doesn't have too many more uses in this world whereas these from a plant nursery are several years old and they're still doing fine they're not deteriorating at all there's the Walmart pot. There's the plant store pot. Nursery plant, that is. At any rate, here's the squash plant I'm transplanting. You can see it's probably not been getting enough water, although I water it daily. It dries out fast here. It is flowering, but no female flowers. A couple of female flowers started, but they died before they ever reached maturity. So, I'm going to move this one out, and at least still leaves one inside the house. First thing I'm going to do is I took the dirt out of this pot, put it in here along with some other dirt. Then I'm going to take some azomite, just a rock dust. Probably get a rock dust from. Uh, local quarry qu quarry local quarry if you have one i don't know if we have one here in vegas or not vegas well i'm behind the time in phoenix or not and i'm just using an organic vegetable and garden fertilizer So I'm, I don't measure anything. I just by guess and by gosh here. Okay, I've got the dirt all mixed up. Uh, I've got this set in the planter. I need to trim off some of these leaves. Plant, you can plant these a little deeper than they were in the original pot because they will plant will grow roots along the stem anywhere the stem sets on the ground it will grow roots so let me fill this in and i'll be back with you all right i've got that planted in all i have to do is water it and i'll put a cage around it give it some place to climb It'll grow all over the ground here, and I've got enough junk on the ground as it is. So now I'm going to go transplant some uh, peppers. These are the pepper plants I want to transplant. They're uh, either bell peppers or banana peppers. I'm not really sure. I had a small accident and got the seeds all mixed together. So I just put them all back in a container and we'll see what comes out. And this over here are some of those potato sprouts I was talking about. I've decided that I like planting the potato sprouts in these type of containers, mainly because they get a better root system. You can see the roots coming out in the bottom there. Use a better success rate on when the plants grow, it seems. Of course, I won't know until come harvest time, but I'll just have to wait and see. I don't really have a good place to plant these yet in the garden, so I'll just put them in slightly larger pots. 
I still got about six of these in the house that need to come out too. These pop right out of the pots without a bit of problem. And as you can see, there's roots are developing nicely in there. So we'll get this in the pot. The root ball in this one wasn't as firmly established, so it kind of fell apart on me. But hopefully it'll make it. All we can do is give it a try. Now, as far as the potato plants that I have here, I think I'm just going to put them in here. I don't have anything better right now to put them in. And it's a little dirty, but I don't really care. Decided I'm only going to put one potato plant in here and just leave it there and not transplant it again. You can see the root ball is nicely established. So except for prying out a few of the roots here, I'm just going to put it in just like that. Now I'm just going to cover it all the way up to the bottom of the leaves here. And I will add more soil to it as it grows until it reaches the top of the pot. And then I just have to wait and see what happens. Got some potato plants here that need more soil put in them. So I'll, I'll go ahead and take care of that now. As far as my pre-soil mix will go.